Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we have a very official with my papers, exciting video to share. I have all 12 of the brand new Kringle Candle Spring Summer 2024 launch happening on March 1st. There are six in the country line and six in the Kringle line. Now, if you're not familiar, this is the Kringle line, two wicks, white wax, and then this is the country line. Also two wicks, more in this apothecary style jar with the two wicks. Now you might be saying, these wicks look a little different, yes. So the Kringle Country Candles have actually been a little bit reformulated. I'll tell you guys, I'm honest, I don't love the Kringle Country Jar. I don't mind the style as much, but it was the burn. Initially, I really didn't like it because of the paraffin, but when they reformulated with the soy, I found that the flames were either really low after a while or really high and still sooted. I just did not get consistency with them. Some were stronger than others, some weren't as strong, but why I love Kringle and why I love being an ambassador is one, because I get to share these products with you early and obviously get to review, you know, great fragrances. Kringle is great. But what I really like is that Kringle listens to feedback. Mick knows, like, these were not the best of the best, and he wants to be the best of the best. So they reformulated, re-wicked some things, and I actually messaged Mick and started burning one of these. And I said, do you want me to leave the wicks? Let me see a good one. Well, I'll show you this one. Do you want me to leave the wicks this long, like the regular Kringle jars? And he said yes. And he said the first burn might be a little bit of a lower flame, but it does pick up over time. And once the mushroom... um. Once the mushroom starts to form on the top of the wick, trim that and it should be fine. I have burned this three times now and look at this. It is burning so well for me. I don't want to spoil the name, but it is burning so, so well for me. Really, really impressed with the burn quality and the strength and throw on this one. Are you ready? Cake pops. We know... I love a good gourmand fragrance, and this label is so exciting. Like, look at those bright, fun, juicy colors, those really flavorful pieces of cake. And the notes read, creamy frosting, vanilla cake, liquid sugar, and sweet must. This smells just like a cake pop. And if you ever have made cake pops, it's literally like mashed up cake and frosting mixed together, and that is is exactly what this smells like. Compared to Christmas cake pops from the winter, because I know you'll ask, very different. To me, Christmas cake pops had a little bit of like a lemon, a lemon fragrance in there. It wasn't a super strong like lemon bakery, but you did get that essence from the lemon where in this, it's way more of a rich bakery cake. I, I love this. I've been burning this in my bedroom the last couple days and every time I walk in there it just makes me so happy bright cheerful if you love those rich gourmand bakery fragrances this is definitely up your alley I will be repurchasing more of these they are available in the 22 ounce large jars the 14 15 20 I don't exactly remember how many ounces two wick medium the daylights and the wax melts and i could totally see myself picking up some wax melts in this oh it's such a good scent i love that the next one we have is cotton flowers now cotton flowers is mint freesia lemon rose and wood so really different really really green and fresh i'm going to be honest it's not my favorite out of the country line listen I love getting PR for a couple reasons. Mainly, it's to get to know fragrances that I would never try on my own. I would never order cotton flowers on my own. But now I have the opportunity to share it with you guys. It is really a bright cotton, but not like a laundry fragrance where it hits you in the head like you used way too much fabric softener and detergent in your clothes. 
because of the lemon, you really get that crisp, fresh, bright lemon with the, with the cotton note. This is really pretty. I get the mint that's in the top notes, that mint leaf, not like a peppermint or a spearmint, more like a fresh garden green. This will be great for when it starts to get warmer outside and you just want a hint of a freshness in the house. I think this would be a good kitchen fragrance, a good living room fragrance, just to really open up the doors and really just have that reset. I hope it's not super, super strong because I could see this one being a little overpowering with the rose and the lemon and the mint. But I think once you get it going in a room, it'll really transform and bloom. So that one is Cotton Flowers right there. Next, I was really excited when I heard the name about this one, Charred Pineapple. Now, I know my friend Melanie over on Mr. Kong's Mom does not like pineapple fragrances. I love pineapple. I love to eat pineapple. I love to smell pineapple. I love the color of pineapple. So when I heard Charred Pineapple, I was like, ooh, is this gonna be like a burnt pineapple fragrance? And if you take a look at the label, it really is pineapples with all those grow marks on there. Now, look at the fragrance oils. Look at the fragrance oils on this candle. She is sweaty Betty. This is a sweaty candle. So I think this guy will be strong when I burn it. Oh, now it's interesting. When I first smelled this, I don't get really a charcoal fragrance. And when you read the notes, there isn't. It's fresh pineapple juice, mango, vine ripened raspberry, juicy melon, creamy coconut, and peach. And when you smell this, you definitely get the pineapple juice. So if you don't like pineapple, I don't think you're gonna like this one. However, I get all the fruits. This is like a fruit salad. If this had a different label and it was called fruit salad, I, I'd be like, yeah, it smells like a fruit salad. This is a medley of all the fruits. You get that juicy raspberry. You get that little bit of a tangy mango. I'm not getting a ton of coconut. The mango, the raspberry, the peach, and the pineapple is what really stands out to me. And I know in the dead of summer when it's super hot out and I light this one up, it's going to be exactly what I'm craving. When you know, when it's like 100 degrees outside and I hate summer. So once I get in the house with the air condition blasting and burn this, it'll set me in the mood. It's not as like tropical because there is coconut, but I don't get that tropical beachy notes from it. I definitely get more of a summer fruit, not like the tropical vibes. So really excited about that one. Next, we have Sand and Santal. So when I first saw this, I was like, Santal, that's exciting. The notes read aquatic citrus neroli, coconut, lily, and musk. And you know what this smells like, you guys? Like Sun and Sand from Yankee Candle. If you remember Sun and Sand from Yankee Candle, you know what I'm talking about. And I don't think it necessarily smells like sunscreen, it definitely is a floral, coconut, beachy fragrance. So if you like florals, there's neroli and lily in here. Uh, musk, maybe. Coconut, yes. This is totally tropical, totally beachy, totally suntan. Not suntan. Sun and sand from Yankee Candle. That's exactly what it smells like to me. It's that really, really fresh, you're at the beach fragrance. That's all I can say about it. Beachy scents are not my favorite. However, this does smell just like Sun and Sand from Yankee. So if you like that, there's your crinkle version. Next, okay, obsessed again with the color, lemon, tea, and roses. Look at this label. So we have two cups of hot tea with a slice of lemon, and then there's tea leaves and rose petals all around it. And it is Tiffany blue. I mean, this is such a pretty wax color. And such a pretty fragrance. All right. The notes are lemon, grapefruit, bergamot, green tea, jasmine, violet, basil, mint, rose, moss, amber, sandalwood, and musk. A lot going on here. But this is great. This is your relaxation in a jar candle. I feel like tea fragrances are really unique, not super easy to find, and when you find a really good tea scent, 
you grab it by the case. Because this, this is tea. Like, I feel personally that this closely resembles London Tea and Lemon from Bath and Body Works. However, it's more bright. So it's more like if you took that London Tea and Fragrance, London Tea and Lemon Fragrance, which again is like a hot tea with a sprig of lemon, chilled it and added a light floral rose undertone. And I know a lot of people are anti-floral. I love floral, especially in the spring. And that is what this is. This is an iced lemon tea with a hint of rose in the background. This is a bedroom fragrance. This is, it is a summer day or a spring day. It's chilled. It's chilly. Not super, super hot. You have the windows open and you're reading a great book. And instead of a fireplace, you have your lemon tea and roses fragrance. This is how this smells to me. This is spring, summer cozy, not fall, winter cozy. Oh, I love. This is serene. This is relaxation. I think this will be a very popular candle because of that tea note. It's really yummy. And last but not least in the country line, listen, when I saw this, I was giddy. Strawberry lemonade, classic strawberry lemonade, right? You have your pitcher that looks like a mason jar with a delicious like slushy strawberry lemonade cocktail there. Delish. And the notes are very interesting. Orange peel, apple, lemon, almond, caramel, verbena, vanilla, raspberry, and woody violet. Take that and stick that aside. It smells like a frozen strawberry lemonade. Like a frozen strawberry lemonade. Total. Again, this in one room and charred pineapple in the other, and you have the best summer day. This is great. Now, I'm not into summer fragrances, but I love me some strawberry. And this strawberry lemonade, yeah, I'm not ready for this at all right now. This is going to get tucked away for summer, but oh my gosh. If you like strawberry fragrances, this has your name all over. And look at how bright and juicy that wax color is. I mean, it looks perfection. This is like you know, whenever you get like butter or margarine or peanut butter or anything when you open the jar and it's so smooth, you don't even want to scoop it. Obviously, you're not scooping a candle, but you don't want to burn this because it looks so perfect. But just means on March 1st when these launch, I'm going to get a second one for backup because this, this is your quintessential strawberry lemonade slushy. Whatever the notes say, great. This smells like a strawberry lemonade slushy. Oh, I love, I love, love, love. Mm. So if I had to rate the country candles, I would say my least favorite is the Sand and Santal, only because beachy scents aren't really my thing. Then I would say Cotton Flowers. It's nice. I will burn it. It's fresh. Then I would say mm, Charred Pineapple. I love. Really great fruity fragrance. Lemon Tea and Roses, this is super unique. I love the lemon fragrance. Strawberry Lemonade, great fruity. And then Top of the Country's Cake Pops. This guy, this guy's going to sell out. Mark my words, this Cake Pops is going to sell out. And it's launching March 1st. Easter's on March 31st this year. How perfect for an Easter candle to give to somebody. Like, I know the large jar might be a little steep to spend on an Easter basket, everybody's budget is different. I totally get that. But in the medium jar or the wax melts, how cute will this be as a gift with all these bright cake pops on the image? I love. So let me go and clear my table and move on to the Kringle line. I don't even know where to start, you guys, because these are all really different and really unique. And something that I love that Kringle did this year was they sent me three of the Kringle jars and three of the three wicks. And if you guys know me, you know I love the Kringle three wick jar. This is like the same size as the Bath and Body Works, but the throw, the burn, amplified. I mean, let me tell you the strength, the throw, the burn, the performance, all of it blows Bath and Body Works out of the water. So 
I am going to start with probably my least favorite, only self-explanatory why, Gardenia. Okay, so I don't really care for Gardenia fragrances in general. So when I saw this, I was like, mm, I'm probably not going to like this. This is not Gardenia. This is Gardenia. Gardenia. Okay, so we have that right here. Now, something that's really unique about the Kringle Three Wicks is they're actually painted. They have a special patent machine that they actually use to paint the jar. So, really cool. This does not come off. This does not scratch off. This is not a label. This is actually painted onto the jar. You have the little square K cutout, but the lids. I love these lids. These are a brushed metal lid with a little beveled edge. And then we have the K circle or square right in the middle of the circle there. Really nice. All white wax. Three wicks. I do not trim these wicks. They are self-trimming and beautiful, beautiful burns. And then we have the scent notes on the bottom there. So for Gardenia, we have Gardenia, White Floral, Jasmine, Green Musk, and Sweet. Now I have to admit, compared to like White Gardenia from Bath & Body Works, and I know I compare a lot of the times to Bath & Body Works, here's the thing. It's something that is super accessible. There's a Bath & Body Works in almost every mall. It's stuff that most people, if you're watching my channel, know what I'm referring to. So I compare a lot of the times to Bath & Body Works because it's something you know and are familiar with. Bath & Body Works has a fragrance, White Gardenia, and that is strong. That is Funeral Flowers. While this is a Gardenia, the sweet and the green really mellow this out. And honestly, as soon as I saw this was coming, I'm like, this is a gift candle. But no, I actually am going to burn this this spring. It is my least favorite one, but I will burn this in the in the spring. I have a three-wick lilac blossoms from last year, and I'm telling you, Kringle has the best lilac. I love lilac fragrances, and Kringle has the best lilac fragrance. So I will be burning this with lilacs in another room to really create a beautiful garden fragrance. Now, this will be available in the three wick, in the large Kringle, the daylights, and the wax melts. So I'm just showing you the three wicks that I have here. Next, we have eucalyptus and cotton. And yes, the jar has eucalyptus and cotton all the way around the jar. And the notes on eucalyptus cotton are lemon, bergamot, eucalyptus, clean cotton, sage, white powder, white musk, amber, and soft wood. So we got a lot going on here. This is laundry. Like this is laundry, but really fresh laundry. So very different from the cotton flowers from the country line, but it's still that very, very fresh cotton. I think if you're into those fragrances, definitely give this one a try. I did not get the silk sheets from that reserve line. I completely missed out on that reserve line. Sweet cream and macarons. I did not get to get those. I need some sweet cream in my life, but yeah, this is really nice. It is a very, very fresh cotton, but I get the lemon and the bergamot and it is a top note, so I definitely am getting that right there in the background mixed with that cotton. It's really pretty. I think if you like clean, fresh fragrances, this will be great. This was definitely a good living room or dining room fragrance to really freshen up the space. If you just want to like hit that reset button on your house after you cleaned, I think this will be a great one for that. Now, a whole... Listen, story time with Drew. Anybody who knows me knows my favorite dessert at a restaurant is creme brulee. If there's creme brulee on the menu, I'm always getting it. Because my all-time favorite dessert is never, like, available unless you go to a very, very high-end restaurant. Banana Foster. Kringle has a Banana Foster candle. Now... When I first heard this was coming, I stuck my nose up and was like, this better not be a banana Laffy Taffy fragrance. A moment of silence for how incredible this candle is. 
Look at the label. Okay. It's totally bananas. You have bananas all over the label. Now, on launch day, I will be purchasing the Kringle Large Jar because look, look at that. Oh, it looks just like a Bananas Foster on a plate. Oh, I, listen, I love the notes. Are banana, brown sugar, soft spiced, smoked vanilla bean, butter, soft woods, and sweet. This is so good. This is not fake banana. This is banana foster. Like, to a T, cross the T, dot the I, this is a Bananas Foster dessert. You get that beautiful, like, flambéed rum in here, even though there's not an alcohol note in here. It just put together, like, a beautiful story, like a beautiful song. This is perfection. It does not beat Jelly Donut as my all-time favorite fragrance, but Man, this is phenomenal. If you love banana, but you're sick and tired of every banana candle smelling like banana runts or banana Laffy Taffy, this is Bananas Foster in a jar. It's phenomenal. I cannot get enough of it. I've been smelling this since the PR package came. I haven't lit it up yet because I've been under the weather and I really want to enjoy every hour of this candle. It says it burns up to 45 hours. I want every 45 hours to be me in the room with this candle. So this is phenomenal. If you love those rich, buttery, flambéed, banana, ice cream, um, I was going to say Laffy Taffy, not Laffy Taffy dessert, Banana Foster is your girl. It's amazing. All right. Let's just stick with Gourmand, right? Okay. Again, look at this label. Ice cream sandwiches. I mean, could it get any cuter? Well, yeah, it can. Because look at this three-way. Look, 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 look. Oh, look at the sprinkles. Would you look at that? Adorable. So, I'll be getting the three-wick version on March 1st. Rainbow sprinkles, sea salt, macadamia nut, ice cream, ruby chocolate, cotton candy, vanilla milkshake, toasted coconut, and tonka bean. She's fancy. This is a very different fragrance. Okay, hear me out. Do not write this off when you smell this and think, this literally smells like coconut. It does have a coconut fragrance to it, but how I view this fragrance is it is coconut. However, it smells like coconut that is in an ice cream parlor. You know, whenever you go to a great ice cream parlor, we have an ice cream parlor near me, Grater's Ice Cream. They're a Cincinnati based. This smells like Grater's Ice Cream when you walk in. The toasted coconut is very prominent, but it reminds me of when you go into an ice cream shop and they have like the jars of the toppings in the front and there's coconut. And for some reason, that's what they're working on right now. Like, not that they make the homemade ice cream there, but the person who ordered, ordered a coconut sundae. So like the jar has been open and it's in the air mixed with everything else, the vanilla, the chocolate, the cookies, you get all those notes. And again, I said, like Bananas Foster too, it's a perfect song, okay? When you create a fragrance, you're creating a story. And this is a story of an ice cream shop. Do I think it should be called Ice Cream Sandwiches? No, I think it should have been called Ice Cream Shop, but that's just being picky. This smells like an ice cream shop. Like you're truly walking into an ice cream shop. It's beautiful. It's sophisticated. Oh, I love. I can't get enough of this one. And again, this is one that I can't wait to light up and take me to it. Macadamia nut. Very interesting because the picture is a chocolate chip cookie, but it does smell 
like a macadamia nut cookie. But again, in the background, it's telling a whole story here. It's not just one note. It's really telling the whole story. And the story it's telling, I'm here for. So love me some ice cream sandwiches. All right. Next, we have Coral. Now, I was very interested in this, and I love this label. This label, if you are the type of person who decorates with beach, I don't. But this whole vibe, this whole picture is totally you. I totally can see that. I mean, it's coral right there on the beach. Now, the notes really intrigue me. Ozonic freshness, sparkling bergamot, splash of leaven, leaven, lemon, lavendin. So lavendin is like an artificial lavender, like a not the same gray lavender, so interesting that it's lavender, sandalwood, creamy tonka bean, smooth amber, and musk. This is so fresh. This is very body care, and this smells like something that I have worn, I have owned, but I cannot tell you what it is. It is very fresh. It is very ozonic. It is very, I do not want to say aquatic, because it does not smell watery. It smells like the sea, though. It smells like everything in the, like, in, not the ocean, at the beach. So that salty sea air, that fresh sea, this is a, this, I mean, It's a large jar, so I would not burn this in my bathroom. I think it would choke everybody out because it does smell like it's going to be a strong fragrance. But this smells like a bathroom fragrance. Like, I'm quoting Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom, her fancy lady bathroom fragrance. This is a fancy lady bathroom fragrance. It's so pretty, though. It's like you walked into your grandma's bathroom and she had those bars of soap that were carved that you weren't allowed to touch, that they were just decorative what those soaps would smell like. And that's not saying anything bad. I loved my grandma. That's what this smells like to me. It smells like that fresh, aquatic, ozonic, really, really bright beachy fragrance. Not sandy, not coconutty. This is the type of beach scent that I love. And it's in my top three. Like, I really like this. I really like this. So, if you're into those salty sea air, ozonic, beachy fragrances, definitely pick up coral. And then last but not least, you know how I feel about some Palo Santo. I love Palo Santo. And the notes, or the scent, is sage and Palo Santo. And that's exactly what the label is. We have some sage and we have some Palo Santo. Okay. The notes read... Citrus, bergamot, lemon, sage, oregano, lavender, jasmine, amber, musk, and woody. So I was really intrigued because Bath and Body Works has a fragrance, Palo Santo and sage. And I was like, oh, it's just going to be a do. It's not. It's really good. Ah, this does not smell anything like one, Bath and Body Works, Palo Santo and sage. Two, Bath and Body Works, Palo Santo. Three, uh, Sensi's Palo Santo. It smells like real Palo Santo wood. It does not smell like Palo Santo mixed with everything else. It smells just like this picture. Palo Santo and sage. And I love it. I love Palo Santo. I actually have, which I don't think I've ever shared on here, a Palo Santo candle from Amazon. It's literally like this big. You light it and it fills up your whole house. It's just pure Palo Santo essential oil. This is so pretty. This instantly, like how that lemon leaf and rose or that lemon tea and rose candle just relax. Like my shoulders drop, my voice gets low. This is so great. This is another relaxation candle. This is a bedroom candle. This is, I just put fresh sheets on. I just got out of the shower and I did a face mask. I did a body scrub. I put on my really nice robe that was in a towel warmer. I'm having a me day. I had this candle lit just preparing in the bedroom for my arrival. 
And I turned on an amazing television show that I don't have to think about. I can just watch it and relax. This is so great. If you love Palo Santo, but every candle company has it blended with something or it isn't a dominant note, meet Sage and Palo Santo. I think you're going to like it. The Sage is not overwhelming and it's not Sage like the Spice. It is truly Sage like you're saging your house. This is great. It's a little herbal. That, that herbalness of the Sage here, not like the Spice in your kitchen. Oh, I love this. This is great. And that's what I love. I, I That's what I love about me. No, that's gross. That's what I'm really happy about is that I really enjoy lots of fragrances. I really enjoy gourmands. I love those bakery, those foodie fragrances. But there's a time when I'm ready for fruit. There's a time floral has my name. And then there's a time where woodsy fresh fragrances really speak to me. And I love that I give equal opportunities to all sorts of fragrances in my home. And Palo Santo, Sage and Palo Santo will definitely have a prominent space in my home. I could see myself using this all the time. I could see myself really enjoying a lot of wax melts in this for a reason of, I just want to get a light Palo Boost in my bedroom, but I don't necessarily want to burn it for hours, you know, to have some variety, but I cannot wait to light this up. This is going to be great. Oh, this is going to be great. I'm off on Friday. I think I'm going to light this one up. I might... I think I might upload this on Friday. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to upload this. Either way, this is a great candle. This is a great candle. So, Sage and Palo Santo are right there. All right. So, let's go through my ranking here. We already know my least favorite is Gardenia. It's okay. Next, Eucalyptus and Cotton. Then... Mmm... Ice cream sandwiches only because of the name. I wish it was called Ice Cream Shop. I love the fragrance. We're going to do Coral. We're going to do Sage and Palo Santo. And we're going to end with Bananas Foster. So, if I could recommend two candles from this launch happening on March 1st, it would be Bananas Foster and Cake Pops. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to use my discount code DREWYOK15 to save yourself 15%. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, so it is an affiliate link. Feel free to use that if you are interested. And let me tell you guys, I'm so excited to share all of these with you. Let me know what you pick up. What are some of your favorites? I'd love to talk to you guys down below. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this is a 9 a.m. launch like normal. It says 9. It might change to noon because uh, Kringle's really been liking the noon launches. So I will have all the info down below as always in the description box. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Bye guys.